Hi guys, so I'm going to be transforming my hair from this to this. Like I said, I'm going to be transforming my hair. The only thing is I'm going to be following this diagram right here, which you can't really see. But um, it's a Heidi Lamar hair diagram. I'm notorious for not wanting to follow a diagram. I try to, but sometimes I don't understand them. So I just try to do what I do. And I try to roll under, but you know, things happen, I don't always roll under. So I'm going to try my hardest to follow this. The only difference is I'm not going to really do a talk through. I'll show the um, image right here and I'll try to link it down below for you to look for yourself. But I'm just going to be pinning my hair and brushing it out. At least for the pinning part, I'm not going to talk. Maybe for the brush out part so you can understand what I do when I brush out my hair. But the thing is, with my hairstyle, I just don't have a set hairstyle. So that's why I personally don't really like... I tried to do a video on it, a talk through video. But I barely know what I'm doing. So it's hard to really tell you what you're supposed to do. I just try to finesse my hair and get it to the way I want. So the products that I really like to use is first the Proclaims super setting lotion and it comes in this big tub and I get it from Sally's um, I'll link it down below because I got it during during the summer definitely I believe that's when I got it and I dilute it with water so next what I use is this which is just a mister um, I got this from Sally's too it was ten dollars but I like it so and I just mix um mostly water into this and then some of this I just I don't really have an amount how much I put in just make sure you don't put too much in at least when I find when I put too much in it's just not like a good combination and the next product that I use because since I have curly hair I don't like to dampen my hair like I don't like it to be soaking wet so not damp I don't mind damp but like soaking wet hair I can't do because if I accidentally make my pin curls too thick or god forbid it's like soaking wet, it's not going to dry by the time I wake up. So that's why I like to make sure it's not soaking wet. So what I like to use so that I don't get that frizziness, I use the Motions Foaming Styling Lotion. And this is what it looks like. And I get this from Walmart for like $4 I want to say. So my favorite vintage YouTuber is Rachel and I'll put her um, username right here and I'll link her down below. Um, I found her during the springtime and I just, I absolutely love her and she said she used this so I tried it out because I'm not new to the vintage lifestyle but I did not know what I was doing in high school. So it's nice to see what people use. And she used it and I really like it. So I'll link that down below too. And the price and everything for you guys to see. What I use is bobby pins. Now I know people use like pillow rollers. They use curling rods or just the regular rollers. But not like I try. I tried it so many times. I bought so many. I bought all of those. I'll show you my drawer. I bought all of them. And nothing looks best for me than just bobby pins. So I'm going to get started with that and I'll let you see what I do.
Okay, so that's what my hair looks like. I'm not really sure how the back looks, but um, I don't really have a scarf that's meant to lay in for pin curls, but I do have this that I got from Walmart. I got this. It's big enough to cover my hair. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm the one to go to sleep. And then when I wake up, I will brush my hair out. It's 10.50 a.m. and I'm just going to take down my hair. And I'm going to start taking my pins out. Okay, so I took out everything, I think, but my bangs because I like to do that um, last looking like curly sue or whatever but um i'm just gonna brush out my hair and i'm gonna start out the back and then reaching the front This is how my hair turned out. And I am so surprised. Like like I said before, I never follow diagrams. I just did what I did and just go for the best. And the fact that my hair turned out like this, like okay Heidi, I see. I see what you were doing, your stylist was doing back in the day, and I am going to follow it every single time I do my hair. Like Next time though, I have to be careful with the Murray's pomade. I don't know if you'll see it in this video, but I placed it up here and then I still had some of my hands and I think when I went to go do this side, it really weighed down my hair. But with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe.